if you clicked on this video, you're probably heartbroken, down bad, sad about something, and same, literally, like always. But as of recently, I've discovered the law of detachment and it's helped me pull so much of my power and my own energy back into my life instead of allowing it to continuously be drained. And I'm gonna tell you how. I'm sure you've heard of the law of detachment and I've watched so many videos on it and I just kind of accepted it's not something I can do. I'm not a person that can detach from my feelings. Like when I'm sad, I'm gonna be sad and I can't let it go. But recently I found the trick on how to detach. If you don't know what the law of detachment is, it basically suggests that you're not chasing what you want anymore. You detach from it, you stop obsessing over it, you stop giving it your power. Because when you're chasing something, you're pushing it further away. For you to be chasing something, it has to be running from you. When in reality, you should just be attracting the things you want. And that means you're not chasing it. You, you just, you kind of just let it go and the universe gives it to you. Why? I don't know. We don't know why she does what she does. With that being said, it's not as easy as it seems to just detach from the things you want and the feelings that you're having. There are two very important things when it comes to law of detachment that I'm currently practicing and I've felt better about my heartbreak since starting this and it's called the let them theory and if you don't know what the let them theory is you just let them like <laughs> I know I know I know okay sorry but it just it just means to let people be who they are let situations be how they are and this theory really, really helps when it comes to overthinking as well. Because when you're sitting around thinking about why did he do this? Why did he say this? Why doesn't this happen for me? Let it, let them. And you just kind of kill the thoughts in their tracks. Like, why didn't he text me back? Did he not have fun yesterday? Let him, let him not text you back. Don't, don't think into it because realistically, they're just thoughts like you're not gonna know and chances are if you're like me you're gonna hurt yourself with your own thoughts i caught myself the other day thinking that my ex was moving on and he was seeing someone new which could be the case maybe it isn't so what's the point of sitting there hurting myself with those thoughts if it isn't the case even if it is what's the point let him and honestly it feels so good when you just release that attachment you have to someone or to something. The let them theory has been a game changer for my healing, my mental health, everything. When it comes to all social interactions I have, someone cuts me off on the road, okay, let them. What difference does it make? Like I could be angry, it's not gonna take it back. They're not gonna uncut me off. They're not gonna look at me and say like, oh, I'm so sorry for doing that. Let them. And I've heard this theory a lot in the past and it's never resonated with me just because I am a chronic overthinker. But when you remind yourself while you're having those thoughts, let them, as soon as you, as soon as you catch yourself having a thought that's not making you feel good, boom, let them. That's the only thought you have to have at that point. Just let them. The universe literally rewards you for having faith in it. Like if you say like, it's above me, it's out of my hands, I give it to you the universe, God, whatever you call it, you will be rewarded for having that faith. And in itself, having that faith is already a reward because you just take the pressure off yourself. You take the pressure off of the thought that you can have control over the situation. Which you you usually, usually can't, sorry. I'm sorry to work it to you. Like if that person doesn't want to be with you, it's, it's out of your hands. The second thing that has helped me align with the law of detachment is patience. Like, again, in terms of a relationship, you could want that boy so bad and you just remind yourself, you know, maybe, maybe he is for you, but just not now. And stressing about it every day, worrying, coming up with plans on how to make it happen. If it's not for you right now, it's not for you right now and you just wait it out. There's a lot of things, there are a lot of things in life that are meant for you, but just not right now. Jobs, friendships, relationships, material things. 
And just because you can't have them right now doesn't mean they're not meant for you. They might not be meant for you, sorry. But you don't know that. And the only way you're gonna find out is through patience. So if you are struggling with law of detachment, remember to practice your patience and to continue to remind yourself of the lesson theory whenever you are having thoughts that don't serve you. The law of detachment and the let them theory can also be used for manifesting things you want as well. And if you'd like me to get into that in another video about manifestation techniques and how to use those things to get what you want, I can go into that as well. But for now, we're just talking about healing. And if you need to hear my voice in your head, let them, let them, let them, let them, let them, okay? <laughs> just play, go back and play that every time you're having like a bad thought. I promise you, these things will work. These things will help you heal. I am living proof that these two things, four I guess, that these two, these two things are game changers when it comes to healing. Like a week ago, I was down bad, down in the dumps about a relationship that ended almost seven months ago. And it's because I've been chasing, I've been begging. I have literally just been on my knees, like, please take this pain away. Please take me back. Please, let's figure this out. And it hasn't gone me anywhere. So we're doing something different. And I can honestly say, I just feel so much lighter and I feel so much relief. And I want you all to feel that too. So remember, patience and let them. And if you want me to do that video on certain manifestation techniques and different laws of the universe that can help you manifest what you want, let me know. Okay.